Hey, what's up, guys? It's Sui here, your local degenerate, and we're here with another Elden Ring video. And, uh, you like faith builds? Because today we're doing a faith build. So, let's get right to it. First things first, we're going to take a look at the stats here. We got ourselves level 150. That's just the nice, chill level I like to hang out at. Vigor 55, Mind 35, Endurance 22, Strength 22, Dexterity 17, Intelligence 9, the Arcane, same thing. But our Faith is at 80, alright? We're cranking those numbers up. Because of the whole uh, new soft cap and hard cap type thing in this game. Without further ado, getting into the equipment. Blasphemous Blade plus 10 because this weapon's fucking amazing. Winged Scythe plus 10 because, you know, it's just a solid weapon all around. Now, I bet you're wondering why the choice of weapons. Well, the Blasphemous Blade does fire damage as compared to Holy. And I've kind of found that Holy damage late game sucks a large amount of will dicks because for some reason they decided let's make a bunch of endgame bosses super resistant to Holy, if not immune. As a matter of fact, from what I heard, Holy Damage heals the final boss since he's, you know, immune to it. So yeah, that's just kinda, that just kind of gives you an idea of how much the fucking devs hate Holy Damage. So you need to have a weapon that has an alternative damage type. Because if you're going with pure Holy, I'm telling you right now, when it comes to Endgame, you are not going to have a good time. So the Blasphemous Blade Plus 10 doing uh, physical and fire damage, as well as having an amazing passive and weapon art. It's passive itself here. Oh, I just unequipped like an idiot. I go over here. Taker's Flames. The weapon art itself, it steals health from enemies you hit with the weapon art. This includes multiple enemies, by the way. It's pretty nice. But it also has a built-in passive of giving you some health back when enemies die. So it's good to get through areas if you don't want to waste all your heals. And also, the weapon art comes in clutch for solid damage. And, you know, getting a pretty nice amount of health back. So all around, the... Blasphemous Blade is pretty great for Faith. And like I had said previously, it's just good to have an alternative damage type so that you're not stuck in a corner with just using Holy, you know? And the Wing Scythe, although there are other Holy weapons that, you know, are better, such as the Golden Order Greatsword, if I have it. I just didn't spec to wield it right now, but. It's basically the holy, no, not holy, it's basically the Dark Moon Greatsword of holy weapons. That's the best way that I can describe it. Other than that, you've got the Coated Sword, you've got the Golden Epitaph, and other holy weapons, even the Blade of Calling. They're a pretty decent choice. Personally, I'm a huge Scythe fan, so that's why I went over with the Winged Scythe here. Plus, it's passive, not passive, it's weapon art, of the whole, uh, you know, it's a nice little slash. But it also disables healing, so, you know, it's good for PvP if you like that kind of thing. I'm not much of a PvP man, but hey, it's it's there if you want it. So that's the two weapons. Buckler for, you know, parries. Yeah, that's very much it. Urtree Seal plus 10. Gets an S scaling in faith. Pretty nice, pretty nice. And just uh, whatever fashion you want to put together, I'm going to be honest, because when it comes to these games, my motto is fashion over function. It's like, sure, y you know, you may be able to kill me in one hit, but at least it'll look good dying, you know? And with the Talismans, we got the Radagon Sorcio, or Radagon. Maybe it's Radagon? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Radagon. Uh, Sorcio for our nice plus five into Vigor, Endurance, Strength, and Dexterity. Useful for just pumping up those stats, but as well as being able to, you know, wield some weapons. It's pretty nice. Phlox Canvas Talisman, greatly raises potency of incantations. Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman, which is to help negate the minus uh, defense when it comes to the Source Seal. Because the Source Seal, you know, gives you a nice chunk of extra damage taken, somewhere between 7 to 10%. So this Talisman helps out negate that, which is just, you know, at least I would hope it's enough to negate it. But yeah, it's pretty nice to have. And the Radagon. Icon, shortened spellcasting time. I don't have a lot of decks on paper, so it's good to have something to help boost my uh, casting speed without having to invest heavily into decks. So that's going to be that for uh, the equipment. 
Now, as for the actual incantations I like to use, I like to use Earth Tree Heal. You know, just a big burst heal if you're missing health or your allies are missing health. It's just nice to have. It's also pretty quick. Golden Vow to increase damage and defense. So let's go ahead and look at the stats right now. 751, 718. We use Golden Vow. 864, 826. Plus a nice increase to defense. So all around Golden Vow is also really nice to have. As well as Blessing of the Earth Tree, which is just a nice uh, regen incantation. It's, I believe it's 4 health per second. So, you know, kind of nice to have for just going through areas and maintaining health. As you can tell, I kind of like to have uh, more support oriented incantations. I am well aware that there are a lot of offensive type builds for this. But, I don't know. I'm more of a support kind of guy when it comes down to it. But, for the uh, offensives, I do have the Black Blade, which is does holy damage and reduces the max health of targets. This also works on bosses, by the way. And, you know, it's just a nice little big chunk of damage it does all around the Black Blade itself. Not too bad. It also has a little follow-up. So we can press it again. All around, just a very nice thing to have. And then Scarlet Aeona, which, uh, you know, good fucking luck trying to get this thing. I do I do wish you luck with that boss, but, um, you know, for those who know, you know, for, for those who know. But Scarlet Aeona, give it a whirl. Now, it has its massive initial explosion, and then it has the little uh, after effect. Keep in mind, that does Scarlet Rot. So... Uh, plenty of things in this game are weak to Scarlet Rot, and if not weak, they're resistant, but they're not immune, you know? And Scarlet Rot's damage over time is amazing. So if you do have a boss that's, you know, really weak to Rot, you just go ahead and start the fight, pop this on him, let it explode, let it do its damage over time, and congratulations, you just proc'd Rot on them, but also taking a good chunk of damage out, considering the explosion does a nice chunk of damage. So that's going to be that for the incantations I like to use when it comes to the faith build. As for the weapons and weapon arts, you know, great sword, pretty standard move set. Got the weapon art here. That's going to be the one that steals health per target hit. Pretty nice to have. Then we go and check our other one, the wing scythe, standard scythe move set. And it's got the weapon skill, the weapon art. That's going to stop targets from healing. But also, it's really cool looking. Look at that. It's called... I believe it's called Angel's Wings. Look at that. It has little feathers. If that ain't the coolest shit ever, I don't know what is. But, you know. Sure, there are better holy weapons to use. Which, again, when it comes down to these videos I make, it's just what I use. You are free to look at this and be like, Hey, you know, this is a good build, but it could be better if I did this. Or it could be better if I did this. Or I prefer this. Or I prefer that. That's the fun about builds in Elden Ring. You know, you can use a video for a nice little, like, template. But ultimately, how you want to do it is how you do it. You know, who cares what, like, anybody says, really. If you want to make the build a different way, go for it. Honestly, I, I encourage the variety, if anything. But yeah, that's going to be the general, I guess, uh... I guess, message when it comes to these build videos, you know? Like, sure, you can use, like, everything that I use, or you could do it your own way. It's whatever, it's your game, play how you want to play. So, that's going to go ahead and bring this video to an end. That's going to be our faith build video for today. And yes, 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 I do intend to do more of these. And you know, I've also been kind of thinking, maybe I should be doing more videos throughout the week as well. You know, like, e e even if they're just little, like, clips or something, at least put something up more than just, you know that so you know i i probably am going to be doing that as well i also do stream but uh i don't have much of a schedule going on with that but if i do stream i post a link in my discord which speaking of my discord the link is in the description if you wish to join the server again that's com completely your choice if you wish to partake feel free if you don't that's okay too but yeah i do want to do more of these and i am going to do more of these you know it's about more of that getting up and you know that motivation type thing you know because sometimes you can't just sit around and do 
nothing all day. You gotta, gotta get up and be like, you know what, no, I'm gonna make a video, I'm gonna stream. That's just how we all battle through it, you know? <laughs> anyway, though, enough of that talk. Uh, thanks for watching, and thanks for, you know, putting up with my talking, you know. I know that I tend to uh, delay my, my speech, if not, you know, stutter a good bit. And hey, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. And if anything, these uh, videos and outros are helping out a good bit, so thanks for putting up with all that. <laughs> but yeah, my name is Sui, and I'll catch you in my next video. Peace.